The Xperia family has a new flagship member, and in typical Sony fashion, it's all about camera innovation. Today, the Japanese company announced the Xperia 1 Mark V, a premium device featuring all the bells and whistles of the previous 1 series flagships but with a newly developed stacked CMOS image sensor with 2-layer transistor pixel tech. So hey everyone, I am Ayush and if you are new here, don't be shy, do subscribe now. No radical changes have been made to the design of the Xperia 1 Mark V. The phone sports the trademark 21 to 9 aspect ratio with uniform bezels on the top and bottom of the screen, front-firing stereo speakers, a pill-shaped camera bump on the back, and a side-mounted capacitive fingerprint scanner. There are subtle changes to the frame, it features gentle ridges going around it to help with grip. The back of the Xperia 1V is made of Gorilla Glass Victus 2 but it features a special treatment that makes it feel like the surface of a pro camera. Described as functional tactile design by Sony, the Xperia 1V boasts a distinctive, grippy texture that feels almost rubber-like. Despite this unique feature, the phone maintains the typical look and feel of a Sony flagship, making it instantly recognizable and demonstrating the brand's ability to establish its own identity within the competitive smartphone market. The 6.5-inch OLED screen on the Xperia 1V features 4K resolution, the aforementioned 21 to 9 cinematic aspect ratio, real-time HDR drive, and a swift 120Hz refresh rate. Powering the Xperia 1V is the latest offering from Qualcomm, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, along with a generous 12GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. The phone also retains its microSD card slot, which can support up to 1TB cards, providing users with the option to expand their storage beyond the initial 256GB if needed. Sony has redesigned the heat dissipation sheet inside the Xperia 1V, so the cooling should be improved compared to the previous generation. The phone comes with Android 13 out of the box and features minimal bloatware. Instead, you'll find Sony's Prograde creator-centric apps, Photography Pro, Videography Pro, Cinema Pro, and Music Pro. As with previous Xperia flagships, the camera system is the main attraction of the Xperia 1V. Sony has retained the variable periscope zoom camera, which allows for continuous zoom between 85mm and 125mm, and it is positioned above a 12MP Exmor RS sensor, as is the case with the 16mm ultra-wide shooter. But the real innovation is happening under the main 24mm lens, which features the aforementioned newly developed Exmor T sensor. The pixel structure of this sensor is a bit different from conventional image sensors in mobile devices. Sony has implemented a technique where the photodiode and transistor are separated and placed on different layers, stacked on top of each other. This allows for independent fine-tuning of their respective sizes. The end result is a significantly increased amount of light captured and reduced levels of noise. Compared to the previous generation, the sensor in the Xperia 1V is 1.7 times larger, January 1st 35 inch, resulting in improved low light performance that Sony claims is twice as good as its predecessor. Although the pixel count is 52 MP, due to the specific aspect ratio of the shots, only 48 MP are effective, and the sensor uses pixel binning to produce 12 MP images. Sony has also improved its AI computational photography capabilities, resulting in better performance in modes such as night portrait, daylight portrait, and night view. Additionally, the phone features technology from Sony's Alpha camera department, including high-performance real-time AF, real-time IAF, and burst shooting. A comprehensive review will be available soon. There's a 5000 mAh battery inside the Xperia 1V, which should allow for 20 hours of video playback on the 4K screen. The Xperia 1V supports wireless charging, and the wired fast charging tops out at 30W. According to Sony, this should be enough to charge 50% of the battery in 30 minutes. The Xperia 1V will be available in late June for approximately Euro 1399 slash pound 1299. It will be available in black, platinum silver, and khaki green. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? Do let us know in the comments section. Hope you liked and subscribed to this channel.